Hi and a very good morning to all of you. I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247, whereby today we are going to talk about two or three important finance related news articles. So let's get started. But before that, if you have still not downloaded the app, you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. Now, what are the news that we are going to discuss? The news are first an MOU that has been signed between BEE, B and SIDB for MSME sector in order to finance energy efficiency. The second talks about IRDAI, the regulator of the insurance sector's proposal to the finance ministry in order to allow the insurance companies to invest in unlisted companies. And third news talks about RBI providing the license of an NDFC to the F to a fintech company by the name FT Cash or the Fast Cash. Now, these news are very simple, yet the names are important. For example, here FT Cash or Fast Cash is important. Similarly, the parties or the agencies or the entities between which the MOU has been sound, signed, this is also important for you to know. And thirdly, what all is going through in the uh, pension sector or the insurance sector this news should be there in your mind. So let's get started with the very first news that talks about the MOU that is the Memorandum of Understanding that has been signed between SIDB, that is the Small Industries Development Bank of India, which works for the MSMEs, which works for the promotion, development and funding of the MSMEs sector in India. And the other party to this MOU is none other than Bureau of Energy Efficiency that comes under Ministry of Power. So both of these parties have come together and they have signed this MOU. And the purpose or the objective of this MOU is in order to finance energy efficiency. So to promote energy efficiency financing for MSMEs, that is financing or providing finance. So the funds will be provided by SIDB and using those funds, MSME is going to inculcate energy efficiency projects or technologies into the day-to-day -day working of its operations. So this is the role of B, that is the Bureau of Energy Efficiency and SIDB in order to help MSMEs to inculcate or to have more of energy efficient technologies in their operations. Apart from that, the MOU also wants to explore the Internet of Things based solutions such as making use of artificial intelligence, machine learning, so making use of all these algorithms etc and making such use for the MSME so that they are more efficient in performing whatever tasks that they are currently performing. Apart from that, the MOU also wants to green to make the MSMEs more greener so that they reduce any kind of emission, they reduce the usage of paper. Apart from that, they transform themselves or convert themselves the paper usage into or into the electronic form. So all of these will come under the greening of MSMEs and capacity building of various stakeholders, etc. So this is the aim and the objective of the MOU. Now one more initiative is being run or a collaborative platform is being acknowledged or initiated by B, the Bureau of Energy Efficiency and the ministry, MSME ministry by the name of Samiksha. So what does Samiksha stands for? Samiksha stands for Small and Medium Enterprises Energy Efficiency Knowledge Sharing. So this collaborative platform helps or helps both the uh, agencies to come together and pool knowledge so that these can be shared, these synergies could be shared and it can be used for the promotion and adaption of cleaner energy technologies and making use of such practices in the working of the MSMEs. So the name of the initiative or the platform, the collaborative platform between B and Ministry of MSME, that is the MSME Ministry is Samiksha, small and medium enterprises, energy efficiency, knowledge sharing. So it is a platform that provides knowledge as to how one can, as to how this MSME can make use of the energy and can 
efficiently use this energy so that any kind of emissions could be reduced and the effects of the climate change could be minimized. So I hope this is clear to you. Let's move forward. What else do we have in this MOU? So apart from that, the document said that the MEU came once weeks after SIDBI announced its various partnerships with stakeholders so that SIDBI could help MSMA become more energy efficient in their operations in order to support sustainable development goals. So now sustainable development goals, sustainability, green financing, sovereign green bonds, all of these will be in news and all of these talks about one thing that is climate change, protecting your environment. And for that, we have a lots of agencies, a lots of organization doing it, COP. And all of these are taken into care and they all talk about reducing the carbon emission, creating more of carbon sinking pools and Having, an, having sustainable growth and not just economic growth or growth that is just in numbers. We want to make mindful use of the available resources, not a mindless or a destructive consumption of the entire natural resources that we have. So what do we aim? We aim to mindfully use the resources in a sustainable manner. Okay? So who all are the parties or the counterparties with whom the MOU has been signed? So the first is the German Development Agency, Deutsche GIS, uh, whatever the name is, not so important. Just you need to know that it is a develop, German Development Agency. So in case sign hua hai. And this is for the purpose of risk sharing facility. So this should be clear to you that risk sharing facility ke liye ek MOU sign hua hai, whereby any MO, any MSME that is taking loans, agar koi MSME hai, any enterprise, any company falling under MSME, if it is taking loan for from any commercial bank or NBFC, the collateral or the credit guarantee will be provided by this German development agency and thereby in this way the MSMEs who lack finance who lacks access to finance will get more finance so that that can be used in order to support the indigenous development of our own industry apart from that two other MOUs are also signed the first is technology information forecasting and assessment council by the name TFAC under the department of science and technology Department of Science and Technology ke andar hai, iske saath sign hui hai. And the second one is with CII, Confederation of Indian Industry. So, do cheez hai, first MOU is signed with German Development Agency for risk sharing facility so that this German Development Agency will provide any kind of credit guarantee if the MSME takes loans from the commercial banks or MSME or other NBFCs. Second, the other MOUs are signed with Department of Science and Technology and CII, Confederation of Indian Industry, in order to promote scalable green and clean technologies by MSME, so that this MSMEs make use, more use of the clean technology. Okay, simple. Now let's move forward and talk about the next news. As I have mentioned, these are just small factual news, but yet important for you to have a track. If this proposal pass ho jati hai, then you should know that yes, such, such kinds of proposals were actually introduced before the finance minister. It says that the regulator of insurance sector has brought or has put forward a proposal in front of the finance ministry that the insurance companies should be allowed to invest in unlisted companies. So these are the insurance companies and IRDI is asking that the government should allow that these insurance companies, like you have mentioned, hai, LIC, Reliance, they, can, they are allowed to buy over 10% of the unlisted firms without approval. If we talk about the current regulation, then according to the current regulation, none of the insurers, none of the insurance companies are actually allowed to invest in any kind of unlisted firms without the prior approval or without the permission of IRDI. So, when IRDI ki permission nahi hai, this insurance companies cannot invest in any kind of unlisted firms. 
unlisted means they are not listed on any of the recognized stock exchanges so this could be the smaller companies the startups that are coming all together so if the government why has irdi proposed such proposal for the simple reason that it is going to benefit both the startups the unlisted companies and secondly it is also going to promote further financial inclusion by providing more in more customers to the insurance companies so as we all know this uh, startups are very much tech driven and they have a huge customer base so all of these customers base the benefit of this will be given to the insurance companies and the insurance companies in return could provide funds to the startups so if this comes into picture the startups will have another or an additional source of funds so they can so they can get funding from the insurance companies as well and this is also in line with whatever ha is happening in south korea and canada whereby these insurance companies have the right to have their own bank holding companies so dekho dekha jata hai kya hoga isme we do not know much about it moving forward to the next news the next news talks about ft cash or faster than cash what is this so it is basically a company a fintech company one of the renowned or the fastest growing fintech company that provides short term finances to the msmes to the small enterprises so jitne bhi msmes hain unko ye finance provide karta hai and recently the rbi has provided has provided the status of a non bank finance company so now they will be known as an nbfc ab tak ye nbfc nahi the now they are a non bank finance company and the principal business of lending can be done by them and faster than cash ft cash proposes or aims to disburse loans worth 100 crores for the financial year 2023 and according to the founder of ft cash that is faster than cash nearly 80% of the total msmes in india lack finance lack access to finance they do not get the requisite finance so that their operations could be boosted and therefore the ft cash faster than cash wants to bring wants to bring revolution into the msme sector by providing or by bridging the credit gap so they want to bridge the credit gap and therefore it is it is the way it is the innovation that they have brought in the documentation part as well as in the easy repayment of the loans taken by the uh, msmes the smes and msmes such as the pharmacies the garment stores any kind of mom and pop stores so in sab ko easy repayment option diya gaya hai first is minimum documentation so that's a uh, fintech faster than cash the fintech company provides loans to all the msmes no so they provide loans based on the credit worthiness and this credit worthiness is judged by the algorithms so algorithms ke base pe ft cash credit worthiness pata karti hai kisi bhi msme ki and depending on the credit worthiness it provides loans to such and such msmes and they also offer these loans at minimal documentation bahut hi minimal documentation pe so they are getting an alternative so jitne bhi baaki nbfcs hai ya banks hai jahan se this msme stake loans this is an alternative whereby they with minimal documentation can get access to finance and they can also make daily repayment option with equated daily installments so jo jo unki pos machine hoti hai by using that you can make your equated daily installments right and it is a very big name jab se start hua hai it has also partnered with northern arc argo and ambit for providing credit offerings to their customers and who are its customers it is the msmes it is the garment stores the retail stores the mom and pop stores jitne bhi chote chote dukaan hai all of these are the customers of ftk cash and it provides lending services or loan services to this small companies the msmes right moving forward so if we talk about the company itself so the company is headquartered in mumbai and was established in the year 2015 the founders include sanjeev deepak kothari and vaibhav 
Lodha. And this talks about the numbers of awards and recognition that FP Cash has received. The most significant among them is this recognition for its work in financial inclusion. So this FT Cash are providing lending or credit uh, services or are bridging the credit gap for the MSMEs and this MSMEs helped in further inclusion or the further financial inclusion into the country. And this recognition was given by the former president Pranab Mukherjee in 2017. And apart from that, the company also offers open architecture based platform whereby within five minutes the merchants can make payment through any of these features credit debit cards net banking mobile wallets upi paypal is se wo monthly ya daily repayment bhi kar sakte hai. plus they can avail the loan that they want to take from ft cash so simple this was all that was there in the news and questions for you the first question says Recently, the government body for energy efficiency, that is B, that comes under the Ministry of Power, has signed an MOU with SIDB for MSMEs. What does B stands for? Very simple, we have talked about it. You need to answer it in the comment section. The second question says, again, recently, the regulator of the insurance sector proposed to the government that the insurance should be, the, the insurers should be allowed to buy over dash person of the unlisted firms without approval without approval of irdi and you need to mention the proposed percentage of the unlisted firms kitne percentage apni investment ki wo unlisted firms mein kar sakte hain now this money kitna percentage of its own funds now this funds could be their shareholder funds or the funds that they are taking in the form of premiums. So by making use of this payments, what percentage could be invested in unlisted firms? The third question says, we need to identify and consider the following statements. And based on that, we need to identify the correct statements. And all of these statements are with regards to FT cash, faster than cash. It says it is an RBI registered NBFC. We have just studied right now. And one of India's fastest growing fintech companies. Second, it is headquartered in Delhi. So we need to know about the company as well. Sometimes because it is in news. As any ki sub companies ki aap headquarter yaad karne bair jau. Just the important ones jo news mein hai. Third, and such news are also important from your phase one perspective. Uske baad aata hai, FT Cash uses AI, that is artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze the credit worthiness and offer, un offer underserved MSMEs. And third, fourth, the company aims to disburse loans worth 100 crore in financial year 2022-23. So this is what they have declared or their aim that they have notified. So aapko pata hona chiz, misse kaun se correct statements hai. Moving forward. The last question for today, which says, which of the following is the joint collaborative platform of B and MSME to pool the knowledge and synergize the efforts of various organizations for the promotion and adoption of clean energy technologies and practices among MSMEs? Is it Sarveksha, Sanidhya, Suvarna, Samiksha or Samriddhi? You need to identify the correct collaborative platform between B and MSME ministry. So this was all. The answers are shared over here. In case of any doubt, you can write it down in the comment section. Till then, take care and bye-bye.